Hey everyone, this is Just For Fun giving you another Funko Pop video review. For today, we have number 501 from Pop Star Wars The Mandalorian, Luke Skywalker. And of course, Entertainment Earth exclusive and Glows in the Dark. Now let's take a look at the packaging. For the top part, it's plain and simple. We have Funko Pop Star Wars and 501. It's the generic design. And for the bottom part, we have two stickers, the Entertainment Earth exclusive and the Glows in the Dark. And of course, we have the Funko Art on the left and the Luke Skywalker label below. And for the left side, the design is standard across all the Mandalorian Funko Pops. So we have Pop, the Funko Art, Luke Skywalker, and number 501. And for the right side, it's also plain and simple. We have Pop, Luke Skywalker, number 501, and half of the hooded Funko head. For the top part, we have half of Luke Skywalker's Funko head, the Pop, and Funko logo. And for the bottom part, as usual, we have a bunch of product details below. So again, this design is kind of like the standard for all the Mandalorian Funko Pops. So we have the Pop logo, number 501, the Star Wars logo, the Funko Art, the Mandalorian title below, and some other details. For the other Funko Pops in this line, we have the Mandalorian with Grogu, Boba Fett, Bo-Katan, Ahsoka. We have Grogu with Cookies, Dark Trooper, Luke Skywalker with Grogu. Fennec Shan and Cobb Van. Now let's take Luke Skywalker out of its packaging. Also, it does come with an insert card. At the back, it's a bit blank, but at the front, it's kind of like his entrance in the series the first time. I'm not sure. But anyway, here's Luke Skywalker out of the box. Again, it's a bobblehead because it's a Marvel or Star Wars licensed Funko Pop. It sucks, but yeah. Like all Star Wars Funko Pop or most of which comes with a standard base, which is black and this one. And at the bottom, it has this. So even without a box, you can really tell that this is Luke Skywalker. Funko really did a good job capturing that moment and turning it into Funko Pop form. So kudos to Funko. Now taking a closer look at the head. So I love the paint job here on his Funko eyes, his eyebrows. And for the hood itself, I love that there's like a bunch of sculpting that's going on there. But it's pretty plain and simple. Not much to it. And for the Funko body, the Jedi suit is spot on. And it comes with two different blacks, a matte and a glossy one. Glossy ones are obviously the ones on his belt and on his boots. And for the gem of this figure, it's the lightsaber. So I love that it's kind of like a soft material so it won't break easily. And lastly, for the back part, not much going on but I love that they added wrinkles on his back like the ones on his hood. And now, let's test the glow in the dark feature. We're gonna shine some blue light on it, um, just a little bit and i think we're ready so here you go the glow is okay i love that they just made it the lightsaber so that's it overall a really good looking funko pop highly recommended if you're a big star wars fan you must pick this up thanks everyone please don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment below let us know what you think do you like this version of luke skywalker peace